Hey, good morning. This is Coach Jason here. Today I want to talk a little bit about escaping. And escaping is something that a lot of us can get stuck in and patterns of escaping, which is really a balancing mechanism that, that our, our, our subconscious mind, our conscious mind is pulling us to do to stay into balance. And so, for example, you know, I used to have a pattern where after my family would go to bed, I would stay up late watching TV and putting crap in my mouth and eat and do that sort of thing. And, and you know, I'm sure a lot of people have done that before. And while this was a, you know, again, it's a balancing mechanism that I had created at the time to stay in balance for the challenges that I was experiencing during the day. And, you know, as a father of, of four boys under eight years of age, two years, all two years apart, and having my own business where I work for myself, I do the sales, the marketing, the coaching, I deliver the services, there's been times where work and life has been really stressful, you know, especially when there's a lot of boys there that need attention too. my little boy, my four boys, right? So, so, you know, I had found myself in this pattern of escaping where every evening I would like wait for everybody to go to bed and then I would watch TV and then I would even watch crap TV that I didn't like. I would be searching for and some nights I would end up literally looking through Netflix for a movie for like 30, 45 minutes. And, and, and I started to realize this is a really insane pattern because it's not productive. It's not helping me. I would wake up morning every morning feeling kind of crappy over from staying up late and not eating the best food choices the day before. And, and and then I finally got out of this pattern, and I wanted to share with you how I got out of this pattern and some of the, the, the benefits that actually came from this. Because while escaping is, is a balancing mechanism that comes up, right, and it could be escaping, could be eating, it could be drinking, it could be smoking, it could be watching social media, it could be anything, right, but it's literally where you tune out from the world, right? And what I started to notice is that throughout the day, whenever things were going on, I was, I was starting to look forward to my escaping time throughout the day. Um, it made me less focused at work. I started to get less work done. And then I started to get in this lazy pattern throughout the day of not doing, being as productive as I could be and not getting the things done that needed to be done. And when I finally shifted out of that pattern, the thing that I realized is that, you know, instead of you know, there's nothing wrong with your body bringing you into balance. And as human beings, when we eat that sugar or that ice cream or the cookie or the soda or whatever, we literally get a dopamine buzz in our brain. And, right, sugar has a similar impact on our brain as cocaine does, right? So there is a physical addiction aspect to it as well. Um, but it's actually easier than you think to shift out of it, right? And because the thing is, like, when we are escaping consistently in the evenings, it makes it very challenging for us to be present during the day. And it makes it very challenging for us to handle stress and challenges throughout the day because we are in a pattern of not dealing with them by escaping. And what you'll probably find is that after you start to stop escaping, you start to become more present during the day, the stuff that starts to come up starts to be something that makes you grow and challenge and get rebalanced. So instead of looking at this situation saying, oh, my God, I had a terrible day, I'm screwed, you could look at it and say, oh, I had a challenging day, and here's my evening with my family that I love, right? Because we have control of perspective. So the first thing you want to do is, and you don't have to give up the ice cream or the thing you're drinking or smoking or whatever you want to do. That doesn't have to be the first step if, if you don't want to, right? The first thing you want to do is the next time you go to do your escape mechanism, stay present. So basically what that means is instead of escaping, use that time to relax, like, I am going to relax right now. So this is a relaxing time. So, yes, you can sit down. You can stare at the TV, do the exact same thing, except from this perspective, you are now in the present moment. And the more we stay in the present moment, the more we're going to be in our body, the more we're going to be dialed into life. And when we wake up the next day, we're going to be fresher. And you're probably going to find that those habits don't have the same effect for you. And you can replace those habits of balance that, that you may have had in the past that aren't that constructive and productive for you with habits that bring you closer to those around you or things that are good for you or make you feel better or help you help other people. So again, escape is something we all do, but the, the easy way to shift it is instead of escaping, try to go to relaxing, okay? Relax. If you need help, you can reach out. Um, I'm here to help you. And, and let's just see if, you, if that area of your life you, that you may be escaping, you start shifting it to a place of relaxation to see what else happens. And what I started, I started going to bed earlier. I'm feeling a lot better, having more energy, and my ability to have more stress goes away. And literally, I look at that old pattern as something I don't want to go back to because it was this 
m- pattern based on meeting my needs in the present moment and screwing everything else in the future, right? You know, so relaxation was really the key and being present with the key. Because remember, we have control over our perceptive perception and how we respond to life. And if you want to respond differently, then change your meaning, change your mindset, change your inner game. All right? I hope this was helpful. If you need help, send me a message. Reach out. I'm here to help you. Have an amazing day. Bye.